guys here is Julie welcome to my channel if you are new here and welcome back to all of you who've already been here in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet this poncho it's very easy to make and it goes really really fast it's worked all with um, the granny stitch and here on the neck opening we have this some kind of turtleneck it's worked in front post and back post double crochets and we are also going to make some cuffs all worked in front post and back post double crochets now let me give you some measurements so the neck is 35 centimeters wide so all around it's 70 centimeters now the poncho is without the fringes is so I'm going to measure this from here down here in the middle it is 80 centimeters long so right in the middle and on the side I'm going to measure from here down here it is 55 centimeters and the cuffs are 20 centim centimeters long and um, 15 centimeters wide so 30 all around and my poncho I'm going to measure from here to here it is So from the top right here, it is about 85 centimeters wide. So this is going to stretch in time a little bit. Um, okay, so the poncho is for a size small or medium. So to make a larger size you need to work uh, more rows okay so to make this poncho I am going to use um, all this yarn here the yarn is a blend of wool and acrylic so these three here are uh, Venezia they are made in Italy uh, recommended needle it's from six to seven and this one it's from Lang yarns and this one I believe it's Grindel well I'm not sure though all these yarns are um, wool acrylic blend and they are worked uh, they are to work with a six to seven millimeter hook in addition to the yarn i'm also going to use a six millimeter crochet hook then you are also going to need a yarn needle to weave in your loose ends a pair of scissors and also a measuring tape so let me clear this off and let's get started Okay, so go ahead and chain a total of 52. I've already made my chain. Now the chain that you are going to make should easily go over your head. We are going to start on the neck. Now make sure that your chain isn't twisted. And we are going to slip stitch our very first chain to create 
this big circle so this is my first chain now go ahead and slip stitch like so and now chain three to step up and the first um, round it's going to be a round of double crochets and we are going to work in the back bump of our chain so this is your chain now you are going to turn it like so and work in the back bump like so now go ahead and um, make one double crochet in each chain till the end okay so i have here uh, 51 and this one here it's going to be your last double crochet so 52 so you have a total of 52 double crochets now to close your uh, first round you are not going to slip stitch into your first into your third chain you are going to go from behind of your work to close this row because we are starting now working to front post double crochets and to back post double crochets so this one here it's going to mimic a front post double crochet so chain three to step up this is your first front post double crochet now yarn over and the next stitch is also going to be a front post double crochet now make two back post double crochets in your next two stitches so one in each so when you are making the back post double crochet you are going from behind of your work around your post and then pull up a loop pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two so you have two back post now you are going to have two front post double crochets one and two and two back post double crochets one and two okay so this is how you are going to work all around your neck so this is going to be your neck and keep in mind when you are finishing your round instead of slip stitching your third chain you are going to go from behind of the work and then slip stitch to close your round now work like this uh, for as long as you want as many rows as you want for your neck so this is going to be like a cowl neck um, and I'll meet you back once I have my rows done and I'm also going to let you know how many rows that I've made okay so I've worked a total of eight rows now I'm going to chain one and cut my yarn now we are going to take another color so I'm going to name this color my color A now take your color B I'm going to pick this one here and now we are going to rejoin so make first a slip knot and rejoin to your first stitch so this one here with a chain three this is going to be your first double crochet and we are going to start with our granny stitch so for this yarn over and make in the same stitch two more double crochets and two now yarn over skip one stitch and in the next make a granny stitch so three double crochets in the same stitch skip one 
and granny stitch in the next so for the granny stitch we are making clusters of three double crochets skip one and granny stitch in the next okay so repeat till the end of the round okay so once you're at the end of the round you are going to slip stitch to your third chain like so and from now on this is going to be the one round you need to repeat all the way down your poncho till you reached your desiring, desired length so you can make the poncho as shorter or as longer as you want so we are going to start with one increase for this we are going to chain four this is going to be one double crochet and a one chain space and you are going to yarn over and go back between these two clusters here and make three double crochets I'm still working with my color B and now let me show you I've marked the place where I need to make my second increase so this is going to be on the back and this is going to be on the front in the middle where you need to make your increases so you are going to have between your increases a total of 13 um, double crochet clusters so from here till here you are going to have 13 on one side and 13 on the other side increases are going to be in the middle okay now go in between your next two clusters and make three double crochets so your granny stitch and the next make your three double crochet clusters okay so work like this Till you reach your stitch marker so till here okay so I've reached my stitch marker now in there we are going to make our second increase so you are going to yarn over I can pull this out now and in this space here you are going to make three double crochets then chain one and three more double crochets all in the same space and this is going to be your increase so from now on you are not going to need a stitch marker or a uh, yarn scrap because you know each time you reach your one chain space you need to increase your work and now continue with your granny stitch till the end of the round and then I'll meet you back to show you how to close your round and how to start a new one okay now once you're at the end of the round you are going to so you still need to make uh, two double crochets in this space here so remember this is your increase two double crochets and now you are going to slip stitch to your third chain like so chain one and now I'm going to change my color so I'm going to cut my yarn and I'm going to take the white so this is going to be my color C make a slip knot and now you are going to rejoin in this one chain space so chain four as your double crochet and as a one chain space in between yarn over and make your increase so this which means this uh, is 
you need to make three double crochets in the same um, one chain space from the previous round now you are going to yarn over and work your granny stitch in between your granny stitches from the previous round okay and once you are at your one chain space right here you are also going to make your increase so i'm going to work the rest of my poncho of camera and then i'll meet you back to show you uh, how many rows that i've made and also my color work okay so i've worked a total of 23 rows and this is how you can count your rows so your round we are actually working in a round so this one is your first round we take your uh, granny stitch so we are going to count from here so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 and 23 rows and this is how i've changed my color so i said this is going to be my color a and then i've worked two rows with b one row with c two rows with d one row with e one row with my color c and then here i've worked three rows with my color b three rounds with my color D, one round with my color um, E, and then I've started with my color A since the white one it's um, finished. I put my color A in here and then again three rounds with color B three rounds with color D, one round with color D and uh, one round with color A. Now we are going to add some sleeves, so cups or sleeves, you can call it how you want it. And for this I've already marked the place where I want my cuff to be. So. You are going to count from the middle 11 of your um, double crochet clusters. So you are going to have 11. And then you are going to put the stitch marker in your first double crochet right here. And then also on the other side, we are you are going to start counting from here 11 of your double crochet clusters and then in the next one in your uh, first double crochet you are also going to put your stitch marker in there so I'm using some kind of yarn scraps and also on the other side okay now let me show you how to make your cuffs okay so to make the cuffs I took my color A so you can take whichever color you prefer and I've worked for a total of 15 rows the same pattern as we've worked here from for the neck so two front post double crochets and two back post double crochet now let me show you how to start your cuff okay so take whichever color you want make a slip knot and we are going to rejoin to this double crochet here and also on the other side so right here with where your stitch marker or your yarn scrap is like so and pull through now we are going to chain three this is your first double crochet and to make um, 
this pattern so two front and two back post double crochet you need to have again a multiple of uh, four stitches so all around i want to have 24 double crochets so this is going to be my first one now the next two stitches i'm going to decrease so make two double crochet together so this is going to be your second stitch all right so one two now double crochet in the next three decrease in the next four double crochet in the next five decrease in the next six and work all the way around and meet me back once you're at the end of your first okay, round now to join um to join your round you are going to go from behind of your work around your pole post like so to mimic a front post double crochet remember we've made this also here now you are going to step up with a chain three this is going to be your first front post double crochet and now you are going to make one front double push uh, double crochet around your decrease like so and now two back post double crochet one and two so right here around your decrease to front to back post okay and this is how you are going to work for a total of 15 rows uh, rounds i've also counted this very first round here so i have 15 rounds in total and then once you have this done i'll meet you back to show you how to continue working on your poncho and how to attach fringes okay once you have your cuffs done <clears throat> it's time to work again around uh, your poncho so in the length and for this i'm going to take my color b make a slip knot and rejoin right here in the middle so everywhere um where i um, joined at all of my rounds like so and you are going to chain four this counts as your first double crochet and the uh, one chain space in between because we are still going to increase each round so make three double crochets all in the same stitch in the same one chain space and now go over and make again your um double crochet cluster and work like this till you reach your first cuff so here is my cuff this is the stitch marker basically you can take this off now now you are going to make one double crochet cluster right here two and three now go on the other side and now yarn over and your next uh, double crochet cluster it's going to be right here so this is the cuff and make a cluster and three <coughs> and now right here make, make your double crochet clusters 
and work like this all the way around don't forget to make your increase and on the other side you are also going to make one double crochet cluster right here and one on the other side okay so i'm going to work off camera a few more rows go ahead and try it on so that you know how many rows you need to make and then i'll meet you back again uh, for the fringes okay so i've worked another four rows of my uh, granny stitch now it's time to make some fringes and attach them to your uh, poncho so I've already made here a few um, I'm going to attach fringes by using all of the colors that I've used um, to make this poncho so take a book or something you have so i'm going to take this cd and just wrap a yarn around that book or whatever you are using to achieve the length that you want for your fringes and then cut the yarn and now we are going to cut down here like so and this is going to be the length of your fringes okay so i'm going to make this with all of my colors and then meet you back okay so to attach the fringes i'm going to start right here in the middle and i'm going to take one strand of each color so i'm going to have five strands so four and five and now put them like so in half now we are going to go right here in the middle pull off all of your strands through this space right here you have this loop on your hook and now go ahead and pull the ends through the loop like so give a little nice pull like so now again I have five strands double them like so put them in half in this space here pull the loop through and now pull the ends through the loop and give a little nice pull Okay, so this is how you are going to attach your fringes all around your poncho and once you have it done, you still need, need to weave in all of those um, loose ends and then you are good to go. Thank you all for watching and for joining me today. I hope this was helpful and um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below this video. And in the meanwhile, I wish you all happy crocheting and till next time. Bye-bye.